It's going to be a lot of fun and a lot of educational stuff, including uh, cooking demos, Zumba lessons, health screenings. There's just going to be so much more. It's going to be Saturday and Sunday, and the best part is it's all free. Now, Jeff Guernsey will be there. He's the owner of the Beating Heart Center in Serena Valley and downtown. And I've been, uh, you know, we've been wanting to get someone in here to just teach us how to do CPR because crazy stuff happens around here in the studio, and you never know when it's going to happen. So I want to be prepared. Good morning. How are you? You brought all your stuff, I'm excited. Yes, we did. And basically what we do is uh, we do teach CPR, AED, and first aid to the community as well as businesses and healthcare professionals. Very nice. Now, and you right. guys, this weekend, is that kind of what you're gonna be showing people? And it's all free when people come in. Yes, the nice. free portion of the, uh, the program is what we do is we'll be teaching on how to do just hands-on uh, CPR so you're at least doing something instead of when someone goes down in emergency, you won't be You back up and say, I can't do it. Right. All right. Now, so can we get our hands dirty and, of course. and, and get doing this? Okay. I'd like to try to come on down. All right. We'll have to be very careful with this yes. skirt here, Jeff. Okay. So, first thing what you want to do is when you get ready to do uh, chest compressions is you come onto the scene. You want to okay. make sure the scene is safe. Okay. Then, you want to tap the patient, see if they're okay. So, okay. If you can go ahead and do that for me. Just okay. tap into the shoulder and go, hey, hey, are you okay? Hey, are you okay? And if you don't see any signs like breathing right. or any signs of life, right. then immediately you want to go ahead and send someone to call 911. Okay. And someone. 911 now, and do it. Get an AED, which is an automated external defibrillator. Okay. And then go ahead and put your hands in the center of the chest like you're doing chest compressions. Okay. Interlace your fingers, but you want to bring your hands where you have one hand here, the other okay. hand over, and interlace your fingers like this. Okay. Lean your body up and over. Okay. And then start compressing. You want to go about two inches. So go ahead and try to go as hard as you can and go as fast as you can. And it's like one, two, three, four, five, deeper, oh, seven, that's eight, hard. nine, okay. 10, oh, 11, whoa, 12, oh, 13, 14, <laughs> okay. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And that's basically what you're going to continuously whoa. do, continuously until you, um, for about it two It feels minutes. like I'm going to, and I don't know if, if people tell you this, but it feels like I'm going to crack their chest. Like yes. I'm nervous I'm going to hurt someone if I were to go, is it really that fast? Is that hard What if I break a rib? I mean... What we're hoping for, and it's going to sound funny, but that we break the ribs here because right. you don't want to break the ribs here. So you have special pro pro placement that you want okay, to put your so hands. Okay, so just right in the middle of that. Right in the center of the sternum, between the basically between where the nipple line would possibly okay. be. Okay. Okay. And that's where you want to do your compressions. All right. And that's what you'll do for adults and child and children alike is okay. straight down compressions. Okay. But children or infants is another uh, different kind of concept. Which can we show you real quick? Okay, let's do this. Uh, he's doing well, right? He's going to be we're better. Good. Okay, he's good. I'll okay. work him. I just later. want to make sure. <laughs> All right. But as for infants, especially since we have a lot of ladies out there that are uh, pregnant this year, we're finding a big, uh, big increase in pregnancy. Wow. Uh, a lot of go, moms guys. should definitely need to uh, understand how to do CPR on babies. Okay. Now, if you have a baby who's unconscious, what you want to do is you want to grab his foot and you want to okay. tap the bottom of his feet because that's the most sensitive part for babies. Okay. And you so ask just him, tap. Tap and go, hey, hey, are you okay? Hey, hey, are you okay? And I now, know. what if this is a <laughs> this is a small child and th they're not talking back? Of well, course. children of age one and up uh -huh. is actually treated very similar to how you do with adults. Okay. But and that's but with babies, it's a little bit different because okay. you want to know instead of a hand, you want to use about two fingers. Okay. So what we do is we basically we do compressions, and on these babies here, this one actually has a little little indicator here. Oh wow! Okay. And you can actually start doing compressions like this. And you want to go about an inch and a half the depth, or one-third the depth of their chest. Okay. And you want to continue compressions uh, <gasps> for approximately two minutes. Gosh, this is you're doing it, and it looks like the cave is... It's, it's going to cave in the yeah, chest. Yeah, it's caving in. But that's okay. This is this is good. Okay. And you see the two lights? It's showing that you're doing definitely within the uh, parameters. But once it goes back to zero, that shows, or red. Oh, wow. Okay. It'll, it'll tell you that you're not doing anything. Oh, okay. But All that's right. kind of the concept. You want to try? And then, yeah, so you used about a couple fingers, right? Yes, two to three fingers, middle ring, index finger. Okay. And you want to use one hand. Okay. And try to compress. And that's the kind of depth that you're needing to do. Come on, baby. To try to keep the heart going. Stay away from the light, baby. And see, you're doing great. You're actually getting the lights going. I like that. So the two lights, good to go. Red light, not so good. Definitely. Okay, now now what happens? What if I'm getting nothing? You are going to, in retrospect, if you are not getting nothing, you probably will not get anything until advanced care comes in. Okay. So that's but why. But this is keeping a, a child alive until then, right? It's it's basically keeping the basic forms of keeping blood circulating okay. through the body until the chance comes up okay. that they actually either revive or not. Most likely with children or adults, you'll end up having to use an automated external defibrillator, okay. which is a thing that's a little module that actually shocks the heart. And here's an example of what one looks like. And 
It has pads that are indicated for children as well as for adults. And what it's designed to do is that in case uh, you are having trouble getting the compressions in or you're getting the heart going, right. you basically apply the, apply the pads to the chest as soon as possible so that you can actually shock the heart back into a proper Wow, way. so just I want I want to come in and feel this because I'm, I'm so curious. You got to feel this. Yeah. Check this I out. Wanna, I want to feel the because, you know, thankfully I've not had to deal with this. But you have four kids. You should definitely I, no, notice. No, I know. And so this is all happening. The living, uh, the Healthy Living Festival is happening this weekend at Del Mar at the fairgrounds. Be a lot of different people mm -hmm. there. Okay, so wait. So the red light is what? The red light. You're not doing. You're not successfully. Scott, even come on. Hard. Okay, revive this I should this do baby. it harder. Yes, yes. revive this oh, baby. Harder. There you go. Oh wow. One light is for depth. The other light wow. is for uh, speed. All right, should be really interesting. Moms and dads out there, especially, um, you got to know how to do CPR. Get your babysitters to know how to do CPR. Jeff, thank you very, yeah, thank you. Thank thank you very you. much. Yeah. Have a great show this weekend. Thank you very much.